Hey everyone. Today I'm just curious what's left of our campsite here in Maine. This is the video titled Using Amazon's Cheapest Hot Tent. If you remember, the road was plowed in right here. This road is not plowed and I parked right here in the road because it was impassable. I didn't even know there was a culvert pipe there right underneath my car because the snow bank was like almost as tall as the car. At that time there was almost three feet of snow on the ground. And when there was three feet of snow on the ground, I never imagined that this was a dip and all swampy, we got moose poop. Yeah, I went in here to camp and I'm amazed. Oh, look at that, flattened moose poop. I think I just ran that over. So this whole area I was camping in is swampy. I didn't know that. Also with the really deep snow, I didn't realize that this wasn't an actual road. I, this was all flattened. I was way above all this. But the whole area is, is a swamp. I didn't know that. But our campsite was up here. I only walked into the woods maybe 15 minutes. It wasn't far at all. I also didn't realize that, look, this road is obviously for a log skid. Look how high this hump is. Can you see that? It's like a good. Two foot hump. Not many people are driving down here. All log skid trails. And you see now, all the maple trees are turning bright red. If you can see that, I don't know if you can see on the camera how actual bright and red this is turning. Very, very red to the actual eye. The camera's not picking it up great. So, this is our campsite. And if you remember that camp video, there was three feet of snow on the ground. These things here were barely sticking out. It was like here. It was, it was like here. I didn't know this tree was falling over. All this stuff was completely buried. I didn't know this uprooted tree was here at all. The snowpack was so deep. And this is where I dug out for my tent. Right here. And look, I left one piece of wood. The reason is I bought that at a supermarket extremely overpriced for seven bucks just in case on our trip we couldn't find enough firewood. Obviously that's not a problem, but when there's this much snow, you, I didn't know all this firewood was here. I had to cut down and break off dead stuff that was above the snow. Here's a little bit of my fireplace ash. A moose took a dump on my campsite. I forgot a clamp in the deep snow. So the reason I didn't use this is because I paid seven bucks for this. I expected this to be good wood from a campsite. I mean, from a supermarket. Seven dollars and it wasn't seasoned. It created so much creosote, it was horrible. So I didn't use any more of it. Is this something of mine? It's just, it's literally just paper. That'll just decompose. So I forgot this. I don't think I forgot anything else. This is a tree that was already dead, obviously. I cut that and burned that. Look at there's my, even my sawdust is here. More big piles of moose poop. Cool. I just wanted to see what this area looked like without any snow. Totally different place. I remember in the winter I walked over here with my sled. The snow was so deep, none of these obstacles were in the way. I cut up a bunch of things. The tree cover is very thick here. Look at this. Just looking, yeah, here's one of my cut marks. Cutting things out. Yeah, this was a nice campsite. And you can definitely tell that that was a campsite. Somehow I have flattened it out, even though we weren't even really on the ground. This moss is very pretty, look at that. 
And thanks for watching everyone. I just wanted to see what this place looks like this time of year. A lot more obstacles than I would have expected that I didn't even know were here because of the extreme snowpack.